Hey family, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to come on and share this word with you guys. It is a prophetic word. It's a rhema word that the Lord downloaded to my spirit. This is fresh bread from heaven. This is life for the body of Christ. So I'm going to get into the word, you guys. God is not playing around with blessing you, with blessing his children, blessing us, the body of Christ. He's also not playing around with his wrath. And he's been speaking loud and clear. And he's been repeating himself quite often as I have noticed, which means that not only is um, what he's saying about to come to pass, but he means business. This is just like an earthly parent will have to continue to repeat uh, his or herself to their child uh, because of the fact that they want them to get it, right? Or maybe the child isn't listening or they just want to make sure the, that their child hears them. Whatever it is, God is saying, I'm not playing around. I mean business and I'm doing this thing. Whatever I have said, it is coming to pass. So you guys, I'm going to get into this word. The Lord woke me up around 6 a.m. on this past Saturday, which was the 24th of September. He asked me to take communion and I did that. And then I just began to spend time with him and he touched me in a mighty way. He filled my belly in a mighty way. And I began to speak these words that he put in my belly. My God, it is such an honor. Thank you, Lord. It is such an amazing honor to be a, a, a vessel. And I thank you for that. Father, I thank you that every word that you're about to have me reiterate to your people will not return unto you void. I thank you for all the promises. I thank you for all the uh, the covenant promises, yes, that you have promised to us that are coming to pass. I thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. Let this word be seed planted and watered in the hearts of your children. Let it be confirmation to many. I glorify you. I honor you and I praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. So you guys, as the Lord began to... Um, Fill my belly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's touching me now. As he began to fill my belly, I just began to, to speak these things out. I had to grab my phone because it was so much that the Lord was saying. And then I had, you know, to get it translated over to text so I can read it to you guys. And so um, let me go ahead and get into it. God is very serious about his judgment, about his settlement in this season, and about um, wealth in this season, okay? And so... <laughs> He keeps speaking of a reckoning, and that's exactly what reckoning is. He is restoring his children. He is paying us back. And then those who aren't entering into his habitation, those who aren't listening, those who don't want to lay down their life for his life, um, they're going to miss it, okay? And so God is very serious, and he's still um, full of grace, right, to, to help those who are on the fence or to help those with their unbelief to renew mindset. So this is what he's doing in this season. So you guys, let me get into the word. Thus says the Lord, there is a glory over my house that's going to shake the nations. This is everything that God said he's going to do that you've been hearing uh, personally in your prayer time with him. And uh, you've been hearing uh, confirmed through the preachers and teachers and prophets, the fivefold, right? He's saying that that glory over his house, meaning you, you are the temple of God, is going to shake the nations. You are going to shake the nations with, with what God is doing in and through you. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, I feel him so strong. Thus says the Lord, Ooh, millions are going to come into my fold, my sheep fold, says the Lord. Millions are going to come into my habitation from what I am about to do in the lives of my children. And so this is him confirming what I just said. I'm about to anoint my people to go out to bring in the harvest, says the Lord. The workers are no longer few because I am sending them out, says the Lord. The workers are no longer few because I'm sending them out. He repeated this to me. And at this point, I felt the Lord touch my belly and or my spirit womb, okay? Even strong, stronger. And he was filling me with those words, you guys. And he did this because this is a now statement. Even though the scripture says the workers are few in Matthew chapter nine, uh, verse 38 goes on to say, uh, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into his harvest field. So he's saying that they are no longer few because 
You all have been praying for your assignments. You've been praying for your purpose. You have been sowing your tears. You have sold your life to Christ. Some of you, thank you, Holy Spirit, are worried about money and you don't have money to sow. You sow your tears. You've sown your life, okay? That's worth more than money. And God is saying that now I have heard you. Now I am sending you out. So he's saying, uh, now there are enough people. Now, because I have awakened them in the shaking of their lives. And this started back during the pandemic. Some of you were shaken before then, just in your personal situations. But the pandemic was a huge shaking for many people to enter into the habitation of the Lord. And so he is saying, since you have awakened in that shaking, because you have been seeking me for your assignment and your purpose, now I can send you out. Now I have harvesters, my God, that are sending up prayers and, and sweet incense to me. Uh, wanting to know what it is that I have for them and the plan that I have for their life and the purpose for their life. So now my harvesters are ready. Now my sickle is here and I keep seeing a sickle as well in the spirit. I've been seeing this for a few weeks now. And so I'm going to get into what he said about that just to confirm what I kept seeing him flash uh, in visions in front of me, you guys, but he is reaping the harvest and he's using you. And the harvest are the souls. It's those who are having some issues entering into God's rest and entering into his habitation. He's going to use your life for that. Thank you, Lord. He's going to work through you for that. Thank you, Lord. And so the Lord said millions, millions, millions will be saved. There is a reckoning coming, says the Lord. There is a reckoning coming. He said it twice. And that means a settlement, a judgment, and a flow of wealth. This is the Webster definition. So this is, again, the season that we are in. And God is doing it. Thank you, Lord. And then he said, my sickle is here. And I am doing the separating. Okay, he's separating the sheep from the wolves and the sheep from the goats. He is doing it, you guys. And so this sickle is a farming tool for cutting grain, okay? He is reaping the harvest. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Separating the wheat from the tares. And this is what you're going to see uh, unfold, you guys, this year as we turn into 2023 in January. More exposure, more revealing, more uncovering. God is doing it. My God, he said, I am doing the sifting. I am doing the shifting. Don't doubt that I will do it because I am doing it. It is already done, says the Lord. And then I heard the spirit of the Lord say, Hollywood, Hollywood, you are coming down. You are coming down. My people will no longer want, says the Lord. My people will no longer be sucked dry by your vampire teeth, says the Lord. My people are going to rise up. They're going to start their own company, says the Lord. They're going to start their own theater, says the Lord. They're going to start their own, says the Lord. And so you guys, many of you, the Lord has been awakening you to uh, your gift of uh, performing arts and acting and theater and music, right? Right? And so God wants this stuff done for his glory. All right. He is my God. He is drawing in the harvest. So a lot of you, he has moved to L.A. over the past couple of years. Some of you, he's prompting you to go now and you have no clue why God is sending you to that place because your spirit okay, is, is, is feeling the warfare. Thank you, Lord. You know naturally what Hollywood is about, but God is saying, I am sending you there into the wilderness to be a voice crying out in the darkness in that place. I am sending you there as well for training. Come on, Holy Spirit. I am sending you there as well. Some of you are, are already um, getting opportunities that he's moved there. Some of you, thank you, Holy Spirit, with your agent. Some of you are getting jobs and, and these things are coming to pass, right? Some of you at, at higher heights than others, but the Lord is saying, just, um, I need you to, to grasp the, the natural sense of knowledge of how things work, because you're going to have your own says the Lord. Don't doubt me. I'm going to provide everything for you. I am the Lord of the harvest. I am the Lord who sows to the earth. I am just real. The God who sows everything that you need is in my storehouse and I'm going to send it to you. So I know my God, Hollywood, would you guys is a uh, in LA rather I should say uh maybe a scary place to some of you guys 
spiritually and then financially because of the expenses, right? But God is shifting his people around. He's shifting you guys around to birth your purpose and assignment. So trust the Lord, those of you who he is moving on your hearts in this area. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Woo, hallelujah. So the Lord says, my judgment is coming down. My wrath is coming down for all those who have played with me, says the Lord. All those who have doubted me, all those who have profaned my name, I am doing it, says the Lord. I will bring them to their knees. I will bring them to their knees and to the fact that they are only dust, says the Lord. He's not playing around with those who have uh, kept his people in mediocrity, those who have been um, abusing his people spiritually, my God, and some physically. I'm even reminded right now of the scripture where it talks about um, the rich or the elite, it talks about how you know, the, the, pretty much the elites are, you know, having their wine and they're having their parties and things like that. And they're thinking like the Lord is not going to bring judgment. And then the, the, the judgment of the Lord comes and they, they leave their homes, right? They leave, um, their mansions deserted and things like that. This is how some of you are going to walk. Yes. Come on, Holy Spirit into houses that you did not build. I'm a witness of that. Um, and I've spoken about this before. This was in 2008 when it was a Shemitah year and there's always an economic crash. I've been telling you guys that and speaking about that since last year, but there's always an economic crash in, in America every seven years. So in 2008, it was the housing bubble that burst. And I walked into a home, you guys, that I did not build, but somebody else lived in it for a short amount of time and had built it from the ground up. And unfortunately, they lost their home and I'm not speaking anything to their life. I don't know, you know who these people were. And I definitely pray for these people because I bought it as a foreclosure. But you guys, I am a witness. And then the Lord says, tell my children to get ready. I'm doing something that they are not going to believe. <laughs> I'm putting the power in their hands, says the Lord. Tell my people to be strong and courageous strong and courageous to not depend on this world because this world cannot give them anything and i do not give as the world gives this is all he kept telling joshua you guys was to be strong and courageous when he was about to take jericho so this is what god is saying like you you're not going to believe when the manifestation comes of what what he's been promising you like you believe he's going to do it right but when you see the way that he has it worked out, that Ephesians 3.20, that above and beyond what you could think or ask or, or even fathom in your heart, right? That's what you're not going to believe. So he's saying be strong and courageous. And he wants to bless you. He wants to bless you in his coming. Let me keep going because there's a little bit more. Woo! I hope y'all still here. Thus says the Lord, millions are being transferred into the hands of my people to do work to do my work, excuse me, and to do my will, says the Lord. I am calling. I am calling the souls of men. I am calling the souls of women. I am calling because I don't want my people to perish, says the Lord. I don't want my children to perish. I am calling. I am calling. The hour is coming to a close. The hour is coming to a close and I don't want any of my people to perish. At this point, you guys, I am crying and trembling under the presence of the Lord as he is my witness this day. I love my people, says the Lord. I gave myself as a living sacrifice for my people. Oh, if they may take heed. Oh, that they may listen. Oh, that they may humble themselves and enter into my habitation. I don't want to hurt anybody, says the Lord. I don't want to hurt my people. I'll never hurt my people, says the Lord. And at this point, I felt the heart of Jesus. And I also was snot nose crying at what God was saying, you guys, because I felt his heart. I felt his hurt. I felt his pain for humanity. And, and for his, uh, I heard his cry to, to, um, to uh, proclaim his name, to like redeem his name through us and throughout the generations and throughout the earth because so many people have gotten him wrong. So many people don't understand the Lord. So many people think because life has happened that it was God hurting them or because they've made their own decisions and they're going through their afflictions that God is against them. But my God, he loves us all. This is Jeremiah 29, 11, how his word says that his plans are to prosper you. 
and not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a future. Thank you, Lord. Then the Lord said, I created them. Oh, this is coming to an end. I am he who will call it. I am he who will call the time. And in the spirit, he had me see this as uh, someone who perishes or passes away and how a, a doctor will call the time or a nurse will call the time of death. And so God is talking about this earth. He's talking about uh, us, uh, the time coming to a close. And he says, yes, I am he who does it, says the Lord. I am he who knows the hour and it's coming to a close, says the Lord. This is Matthew 24, 36. And then the Lord says, Hollywood, you bow down, says the Lord. Hollywood, bow down. You have forsaken my people. You have put my people in pride and I am calling them out. I'm calling them out. I'm changing their hearts. I'm humbling them. Oh, that they may enter into my rest, that they may enter into my rest. I will bless them beyond belief more than what this world could ever give them. And, and money is the lesser of this. So what God is speaking of is the actors and actresses that he's going to be calling out, the, the rappers and the musicians and everybody who is um, exercising their gifts because gifts are without repentance, okay? So all of those who he's calling, he is pulling them out and he's going to um, pull their lives back up after he takes them through their process. And we aren't to rejoice in this because this the very darkness that he's bringing them out of is, is what we have come out of as well. And there's a scripture for that. I think Paul is talking about that for us to not rejoice because of that very uh, dark place that we once were in. We're now in the light. So let us be uh, gracious. Let us pray for those who are being pulled out of the very darkness that the Lord uh, pulled us out of and, and saved us. Thank you, Lord. Um, the Lord is speaking to many many of his children. And I know I'm coaching um, a couple of people now that they've shared with me that they've been having these dreams about celebrities and that God is, is using them to pull them out um, and to bring them to Christ, right? And so this confirms what God is saying, that the workers are no longer few. Like he's sending his people out. This is, is, is some of their assignments, some of your assignments. So if you're getting these dreams, about uh, known people um, and you're not desiring to meet these people. You don't even follow these people, but God is just showing you dreams about uh, different people who are known, actors, actresses, rappers, whoever it is, singers. God is doing it, okay? He's going to use your life. So just take heed to um, what he is showing you and continue to press into prayer. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And so uh, thus says the Lord, all my children who I have moved on your hearts and have the gift of acting, you're going to do it for my glory. Don't look to the world. I've put it on your heart to act. I've put it on your heart to be in the arts. I've gifted you with that, says the Lord, and your gift will bring me glory, says the Lord. Yes, I am doing a new thing. However, I can call my people and draw my people in. I'm going to do it. And then he says, remnant, this is why I am raising you up. I'm raising you up for such a time as this. My will will be done in this, in this earth, says the Lord. Nothing can stop my plan and purpose. I'll use who I want to use, says the spirit of the living God. I am he, I am he, I am he who sits on the throne in heaven. I am he who looks down low. I am he who sees all things. I am he who knows all things, even the secret things, even the secret things, says the Lord. He keeps repeating himself, you guys. He is very serious. He's already acted. That's, that's what I'm going to say. It's no longer he's about to. You guys, it's already done. You're about to see this stuff. We all are about to see what God is saying in the natural. My God, let me keep going. Thus says the Lord, oh, there's a reckoning coming. There is a reckoning coming. This is that judgment, that settlement. This is also um, the, the wealth transfer. Come on, somebody. He says, enter into my rest, enter into my habitation. Repent of your sins and come back to me, says the Lord. Millions will perish. Millions will perish because they will not listen. Just as millions will enter in, millions will not is what the Lord is saying. Uh, he says, I am he 
The decree has gone out of my mouth and my words will not return unto me void, says the Lord. But the Lord says, my heart aches for my people. My heart aches for the lack of knowledge of my people, for their ignorance. But I'm going to awaken them and I'm going to clean them and I'm going to wipe the blood from their skin, says the Lord. I'm going to clean them like a newborn baby, says the Lord. I'm going to purge them. Uh, and then he said, I walked past you and I saw you and I saw you um, in your nakedness and I covered you up and I cleaned you, says the Lord. And then I adorned you with nose rings and bracelets and fine perfumes. But you took it, you took it and you sacrificed everything I did. You turned on me, but I'm still here to clean you up. I'm still here to wipe the purge off of you. I'm still here to adore you, says the Lord. Oh, hear my cry through my prophet today, says the Lord. Hear my cry through my prophet today. And the Lord was speaking of Ezekiel chapter 16, verses 4 through 17. His hand is not too short to save. And so those of you, that word right there is, is, is hitting you in your spirit, is hitting you in your heart. You're probably crying tears right now. Just receive the Lord in this very moment. This word here is for the intercessors, those of you who have been praying and interceding for the body of Christ, interceding for the nations, interceding for uh, humanity. The Lord says, intercessors, get ready. Stay ready. I need you on the front lines. I need you on the front line, interceding for the souls of this nation, for the souls of this world. I need you on the front lines. I'm waking you up in the midnight hour, says the Lord. I'm waking you up at the fourth watch, says the Lord. I'm waking you up at three, four in the morning, five in the morning. It is me, says the Lord. Yes, I am waking you up for such a time as this. I'll give you what to pray, says the Lord. I'll give you what to pray in the Holy Spirit. And he says, I'm answering prayers and I'm handing out judgment. The prayers of the righteous avails much. And I have heard you and my time is now, says the spirit of the living God. And this is James 5, 16. And then the Lord said, justice, justice, justice will prevail, says the spirit of the living God. The scales are being balanced. They're being balanced. They're being balanced. No more, no more faulty weights, says the Lord. No more unbalanced scales, says the Lord. My people will be respected, says the Lord. My people will be honored. My people will be treated justly. This is all races of humanity that entered into my habitation, says the Lord. Tell my people to be ready. Tell my people to be ready. I'm about to shower down. I'm about to shower down on my people. Oh, my glory, my love, my blessing, says the Lord. I am anointing. I am appointing. I am sending them out, says the Lord. And then I began to sing praises to the Lord for us in the Holy Spirit. And I asked the Lord to create in us a clean heart, renew a right mind and spirit within us, within me. And I asked the Lord to um, let the spirit of his mind also be in me and be in us according to Ephesians 4, 22 through 23. So that is the word of the Lord that he released, you guys. As I was sending praises to him and singing to him, I was looking out of my window and he caused me to see this light pole that I never ever paid attention to. And I'm gonna to try to insert the picture, but the, the view that I had, the pole looked like a cross. And then there were these other wires that were coming down, like the cross was like this. And then there was these other wires like coming down on each side of the cross that looked like scales, you guys. And he was just confirming that the scales are balanced, okay? But you guys, please take heed to the word of the Lord. Just take this to the Lord in prayer. You will know what portions of this word is for you. But God is not playing around. Enter into his habitation. It is not too late. It is he who calls the hour. The time is running short, you guys. This is why a lot of you feel that urgency, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Play it back. Share it with someone uh, that you feel it will bless. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, uh, liking the videos as well. Those of you who are sowing your uh, seeds into this ministry, may the Lord continue to bless you and all of you who are supporting 100 fold in all areas of your lives. I love you guys with the love of Christ. Most importantly, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you soon.